Part 2 of PSP versus DSi. Okay. One thing that came to my attention that I forgot to do in part 1. The storage media. Why does this take Memory Stick Duo? I mean, I couldn't find it anywhere. Except Staples and online. But this is everywhere. Costco, Fry's. Even like Walmart and Target and stuff. This is everywhere. This isn't. So DSi automatically wins there. 4 to 2. Let's see if Sony can redeem themselves from the dead. So let's turn on both consoles. Hold on, see. Okay, recognizes it again. Well, what's going on? Okay. The DSi really does not have safe data utility for games. It's all stay on the cartridges. Which is not always good. Because if you lose the cartridge, you automatically lose your save data. But if you lose the game, still have the save data here. You just need another version of the game. See, look at all the stuff I have for. Um, yeah. Might do a review of one, two of those games in the future. So, that's a win for the PSP. Three, four to three still. DSi still in the lead. Now let's go to gameplay. Well, if I not gameplay, storage the game media. I could turn this off. I have a copy of New Super Mario Brothers right there. And a copy of Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. In there. Okay. What's bad about this? Disc can break easily. Serious. I already had one issue where one of my UMDs broke, but somehow I miraculously fixed it. I don't even know how I did it. I don't even know. But this, cartridges almost like never stop working, especially tiny ones. You just put it in and play. So, DSi wins there. Five to three. But, now let's talk about gameplay, actually. Is it five to three or six to four? No, it's five to three. It's five to three. Let me put this back in. Turn both consoles back on. Well, the PSP has this thing. And a joystick. Well, analog stick and joypad and all sorts of buttons over here. And all this down here for extra stuff. And the shoulder buttons. Here, it's only this and the touchscreen. The touchscreen isn't actually in all the games, which does get annoying because one of the main features of any DS is the touchscreen. Hence the name dual screen. First screen's like actual gameplay and stuff and here is like controls and other stuff. So eh. So but the quality of the analog stick here on the PSP isn't very good. Sometimes I find myself going right when I literally am pointing it up. So look, I'm pointing it up right here. Sometimes I find it always going to the right. So I don't know. So I'm problem with this PSP what happens sometimes. So win for the DSI there. Six to three. Um anything else I can say? Um, okay, here's one. Well, not really, actually. Never mind. I'll forget about that. So, with a score of 6 to 3, the DSi is really good. PSP is a good console itself. It has its own good things, its own store, um, its own types of genres and action and all that. Honestly, I'm more of a platformer type of gamer. Mostly on the PSP, I've been seeing action games, violence, and that's not really my type of games. I'm mostly platformer, like, 
I don't even know how to explain it, but I'm more of just a platformer type of gamer. So the PSP just isn't really my, what, how do you call it, forte or whatever. And just to let you know, I have the PSP 1000, so this review might be a little biased. I'm not sure if it's really different on the 2000 or 3000, but I don't. I just don't feel the need to upgrade, because all I heard just made a little brighter screens and added a microphones. Like, who cares? Sticking with my PSP 1000. At least until they make the Go a lot cheaper, because right now the Go's like... Yeah. So, personally, I favor the DSi. But one gripe I have with the DSi. No games were released in stores yet. I am aware that, like, System Flaw was released only a few days ago on October 27th or something like that. But it's not in stores, so what's the point? Like, if it's not in stores, what's the point of even having the console? Well, what, fine, what's the point of even releasing it in nine stores? But I heard that's coming in stores soon, so that's good. I might get it, review it, but I don't know. I'm just rambling now. So, personally, I favor the DSi. PSP is good, too. They're both really good consoles, but I favor this more. Thank you. Have a good night. Or whatever time you're watching this, I should say. Mystery. Bye-bye.